So today I'm going to be doing my September favourites because it's now October. You might think that my background is different. This is actually Quinn's background because I'm in Lincoln at the minute. Half term, so I'm just here for the week. And I'm also having good quality for once. I'm good editing because Quinn is... We're recording this on Quinn's camera because obviously she took it to Lincoln with her. So yeah, let's just get started. So first I'll start with makeup. The first thing that I've got is the Jew the Hula. I'm not really sure if it's Do or Ju. I love this. This is just really pretty. And it is a basically a liquid bronzer. And yeah, I got this Freedom magazine. Obviously the bottle's normally quite big. But I think this is so pretty and I really like it. Next I have my MAC highlighter in Soft and Gentle. This is the Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle, obviously. And this is literally the most stunning thing ever. Like, look at that. It's on it's literally so pigmented and so pretty. I love it so much. This cost £26. I think I got it for 24 at the airport. It was literally <laughs> reduced by like £2. I highly recommend it. Next I have an eyeshadow palette. This is the Revolution palette. It is the iconic Redemption Palette 3. And this is a really pretty palette because it's basically a drip for the naked three, but it's like six pounds. It's got really pretty shades from a really dark purple. It's got a few mattes, mainly shimmers. I mainly wear shimmers. And I literally use this all the time. It's such a pretty palette. And you've got like a matte weight as well, which is really handy to have just to set eyeshadow primers. But yeah, absolutely love this. It is a win win. Talking about eyeshadow primers, I have got the Maybelline 24 hour colour tattoo in Creme de Rose. This is basically a nude eyeshadow primer, but it's got a slight undertone of pink because I mainly wear pink eyeshadows. So I thought if you just have a nice undertone, then it will make the eyeshadows look nicer. And yeah, I got that instead of the Creme de Nude because I have also have quite like a pinky skin tone. So I thought that would work out better. I currently have four of these. These are so, 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 so good. Finally for makeups, <laughs> that doesn't make sense. I have got the Blushing Hearts Triple Baked Blush in Blushing Heart. This is a really pretty packaging. It's a dupe for one of the Too Faced products. But look how pretty that is. It's just so shimmery, so nice. I put some of my Real Techniques blush brush and it's just so shimmery and it's not too pigmented. So you don't know, like you've got, literally just put so much blush on. This was five pound. Now I'm gonna go on to random bits. The first thing is a makeup bag and it is this one. It says, no filter needed. It's blue and it's got pink writing on it. And I think this is really cool because it looks really small, but you can literally fit so much in it. This has been good for travel because I have been traveling to Lincoln a lot recently. But yeah, I just really like it and it's like quite stretchy as well. So you can stretch it to fit all your makeup in. But yeah, really like this. And this was free, I think. I think Dad got me it for free from Superdrug. I'm not sure. You can probably find similar online. Next, I'll go on to perfumes. So the first perfume I have is the One Direction You and I perfume. Look at this bottle. It is so pretty. It normally has like a ring thing around there, but that fell off. Yeah, this smells so sweet. It's still so kind of classy in a way. And this is my favorite One Direction perfume. I bought it like a year ago and I've literally used hardly any because I've only just rediscovered it, but I love it. Next, I have two body sprays. The first one is the NSPA brand. This is by Asda, and this is the Tickled Pink Raspberry Fragrance Body Mist. It's only three pound. It's basically for the charity Tickled Pink, which supports breast cancer research. This is just so sweet. It literally smells like raspberries and sugar. I wouldn't recommend this if you don't like fruity fragrances. I do, I love fruity fragrances. I literally have so many. And this is just really, really nice. And next for body sprays, I have this Dolly Mixtures one. It's just like really pretty. It's got this girl on it. This is by Dolly Mixtures and it is the Just Peachy Body Mist. This smells exactly like peaches. I love peach body sprays. I had one before from NSPA, but I lost it. I don't know where it's gone. This was 49p from Home Bargains. Next for skincare, I have two bits of skincare. The first thing that I have is a micellar water. It's the Nivea Daily Essentials Sensitive Caring Micellar Water. I normally get the Garnier one. It's really, really, really good. I've only used half, but I just really like it. I think that it's really, really good. Next for skincare, I have these Clearasil Rapid Action Pads. These are super expensive. These are like five pound for this. They do honestly really work. And at Boots at the minute, you can get buy one get second half price. So basically, you just rub them on your skin and they do prevent spots. I use these for like a week and I broke out so much. So they do work. I have two things left in my September favorites. First thing is scrunchies. 
scrunchies. These are basically just hair bubbles. I have four scrunchies at the minute. I have this black velvet one, this burgundy velvet one, navy velvet one, and a tartan one. I got these three, this one, the navy one, and the burgundy one from New Look for four pound, which is really good. I just love scrunchies. Obviously I like my balls and stuff, but if I want to change it up, I'll put in a scrunchie because it's just so pretty. And yeah, they're just really handy and you can even just put it on your wrist if you, instead of a hair bubble, because sometimes hair bubbles hurt. And finally, I have got some chewing gum. This is the extra white in bubble mint, but these are amazing. You get 46 pieces in here from, this was from Asda for like two pound. But this is amazing because I'm not the biggest fan of mint. This is like more of a bubble gum, but hints of mint in it. So I absolutely love this, this is amazing. And you can obviously get this in more supermarket. Another favorite that I've been liking is Lincoln. I love Lincoln. I've been here like 500 times in the past month. Because obviously Queen goes to uni here. I just like it here, it's good. I might move here, who knows. That's it for today guys. Thank you for watching. Remember to give a massive thumbs up and comment and subscribe, press all the buttons on there. Seven for this like one. I will see you on, I'm not sure, because I'm not sure when this is gonna be uploaded. I'll see you on Wednesday or Sunday, and we'll see you on Friday. Bye! Mm -hmm.